Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I'm here with Tony for this episode's run of college basketball game predictions for this upcoming week. Tony, one thing I can tell you is March is around the corner. It is. The madness can be felt everywhere. Every day we're closer to seeing the best college, ball, college basketball programs compete at the highest level. And by far, as we can see that the Big 12 is the best conference right now at play. Players like Jalen Wilson averaging almost 20 points a game, Keontae Johnson leading Kansas State this year, and Grady Dick having the season he's having only being a rookie. Mm. But that being said, let's get into this week's predictions. Tonight, Texas Tech at Kansas. The Jayhawks are right where they want to be, and I don't see Texas Tech giving Kansas any trouble down in Lawrenceville. I'll take Kansas on this one. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really watch pre college basketball like that, but you know, I, I used to watch college basketball, and Kansas was always good. I never even heard much about Texas Tech. I didn't even know they even had a basketball team either. So uh, I'm easy to go with Kansas on this one. It, it should be a blowout. <laughs> yeah. All right. Saturday, March 4th, perfect day for some Big 12 competition. Iowa State visits Baylor and Fort Worth. Let me tell you, Iowa State is not a road team, Tony. Six road losses out of eight mm. in Big 12 competition. So out of the bat, I'm taking Baylor on this one. So you know there's always a thing that'd be like, don't doubt the underdogs, no matter what. So I'm going to go with Iowa State. I feel like that record is going is to change. It's going to improve to... <laughs> Baylor and Texas. Come on. Yeah, they are in Texas. Iowa is uh, just a few states up from Texas. <laughs> so right, they're going right. to down the Baylors. All right, I'll hold, you, I'll hold you to that one. Kansas at Texas, two top 10 ranked teams. You can't ask for a better way to spend your Saturday afternoon. The Longhorns are an exceptional team when playing in front of their home crowd. So give me, give me Texas. I'm taking the upset. Mm. <clears throat> the upset. I'm not taking no upsets. This weekend, we will not be upset. We'll be happy this weekend because I'm going to pick Tech. Well, I'm, I'm going to take Kansas. We can't seem to agree on this <sighs> one. Huh? No, we cannot agree on this one. Not at all. You know, Kansas will probably beat them by nearly 50 points. All right. Probably uh, thinking 80 to 40. All right. 80 to 40. I'll hold you to that one again, too. Now some, some top 25 matchups, some Big East play. March 1st, Xavier visits, visits the Fry down in Rhode Island looking for another top 25 win. Providence is a huge team at home and have shown they're a top level program. So I'm taking the Friars on this one. Oof. Yeah, I think the Friars will fry Xavier, you know. It probably <laughs> won't even be close. <laughs> I, like I never, I like yeah, that. I never even pretty much heard. Uh, Xavier was good probably a couple years ago, but uh, I thought that was somebody's first name. I know we agree on something. I didn't even know it was even a cause like something. that. Yeah. So SEC play, March 4th. Number two ranked Bama visits 25 ranked Texas A&M. And trust me when I tell you, Texas A&M is a team, a great basketball program, and Ooh. they're a tournament inbound. Texas A&M upsets Alabama at home. Texas A&M had a basketball team, bro? <laughs> I, I never even knew that. I thought they was only had a football team. I'm going so, to uh, text you, and we'll, we'll see about that one. Yeah, we're going to see, because uh, Alabama's going to win. Right, and right. it, it probably won't be close. <laughs> Texas A&M probably got a bunch of football players on that team, okay. bro. I'm going to be honest. They probably just threw that team together this Wait year. Wait for my text. Wait for my text. All right. I'll, I'll be waiting. All right. Switching conferences, the CA tournament starts this weekend, and our Blue Hens are on a 3-0 run in their last three games, winning two on the road. Jameer Nelson Jr. has been exceptional, dropping 30-plus points in the last two games and being named CAA Player of the Week two weeks in a row. The Blue Hens play Northeastern on a Saturday night in D.C., and of course, there's, there's no doubt in this one. We're taking Delaware. We're taking Delaware going to the rec center, next round, being the 11th seed, and, and who knows? The madness might start mm. there. Mm. I don't know can't why be, I'm even thinking about this. Can't one. Be thinking this one. No. You know, I'm, I'm going with UD. Uh, I hope they make it back to March Madness this year. I hope it won't be a, a, a first round L again. Can't happen. We need to go to at least at least the Sweet 16. At Hopefully least. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. You know, I'm praying. I'm praying that we make it far enough this year so I can actually watch the game. Because yeah. last year I was in class, couldn't even watch it, bro. <laughs> Not disappointed. All right. I, I log on ESPN and they're down by almost 20 points. I was sad, bro. But this year, hopefully, they're up by 20 in the first round. Hopefully. Hopefully. So uh, that's it for us this week. That was me and Chris with game predictions. And, you know, we'll catch you all next time. Hand Sports out.